Hello. Hi, Agnes and Dora, confident creators and reps in waiting. My name is Tracy Morrison and my husband, Joel Morrison, and we just wanted to uh, do a video for you guys um, because there's a lot of things that go into being successful um, in a business. Uh, I know Buffy and Christian, they worked very hard starting back in 2013, and I'm sure they pulled a lot of long nights, made some personal sacrifices, family sacrifices, um, and probably didn't get a lot of sleep. And that's kind of how Joel and I are feeling right now. Uh, we onboarded, signed the contract on the 25th of May, and I finally received my platinum kit on the 16th of June. So for me, I kind of feel like it's just been a whirlwind, and I'll uh, let Joel um, express how he's feeling as well. So the main uh, focus of our video today is for you not to lose focus of yourself. You need to treat yourself. Through this whole process, as you're waiting for your inventory to come, as you're maybe on the fence about, should I sign, what kit should I get? So hopefully we can um, put your mind at ease, let you know that once you start hitting the ground running, um, don't run yourself ragged. Um, I'm still kind of feeling a little ragged, and so um, again, um, you have to allow breaks, you have to eat, you have to still go to the grocery store, you still have to um, do your chores. Uh, I still work. Um, I don't work full time, but I do uh, work part time and I have um, a little bit of a commute uh, to work and home and then I have to stay focused at my job. I'm a nursing um, by trade and I teach the nursing assistant program at the American Red Cross so I can have anywhere between 30 students and so I need to be focused making sure that I'm creating the future of healthcare. Um, and then Agnes and Dora is, I guess you could say it's a hobby. Uh, I would like it to be more at some point in our future. Uh, how Joe and I decided to get into signing up for Agnes and Dora. We were sitting in our local church, uh, River Valley, and the pastor's sermon was focused on Made for Mondays. It talked about how you have control of your fate in your job. And Joel and I actually met, our relationship started when we worked for an orthopedic practice in northern Wisconsin. And so we knew personality-wise that we both had very strong work ethics. Um, and sometimes maybe on both of our ends, we didn't know when to quit. So here we are, fast forward. We'll have six years of bliss in November. <laughs> So, all bliss, all <laughs> bliss. Marriage is not all rainbows and sunshine, um, but you know, communication is a key. And so, not only are we um, life partners in our marriage, we are also business partners. So, this is a new journey for us as well. Uh, I think that's that's what I got. Now it's Joel's turn. See, did you see how polite I was and let her talk? And, and that's, that's something you learn in sales. I actually am a salesman. Uh, I am in healthcare as well. I'm in healthcare IT. Uh, so, so I also, I do have a full-time job as well, and I view this as a partnership. And I think that's uh, something that's important. While it doesn't have to be a full partnership, if you're living with someone else in your home and you're doing this, and they're not supportive of it, or at least in some way helping, it's going to be a challenge, uh, and I think it also behooves the rep in waiting or the new rep to express their needs, express what they want to get done, and it, and get those goals out there. Because as as a husband, I am not a mind reader. As a business partner, I am also not a mind reader, and in some ways, it creates more difficulty because being together for as long as we have we do understand each other and there's a lot of things in our relationship that were uh, I don't want to say auto the relationships not on autopilot but certain wants and needs you understand what your your spouse wants business is different it's new it, we haven't done this before so you gotta you have to express yourself and you have to tell and talk and and uh, that way the expectations are set properly otherwise you may think one person is doing something or nothing and or you may think one person is working too long uh, 
I, I am guilty of it. I know when I went back to school for my uh, business degree after my x-ray degree, I, I would work till on that till 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, and now I do function a little better on lack of sleep than she does, but I can still get cranky too. So it's important to, to take care of yourself or otherwise what the heck are you doing this for? So, so, so one of the things that we've uh, discussed and, and are working on is is getting a task list together. So since there's two of us, we need to have that centrally located. Uh, so we're gonna use the to-do app, uh, Microsoft app, and we can sync that with our, our Outlook. Uh, I know you can use Gmail for certain things, but basically what it is is it's a to-do slash task list. So that way you know what's there and what needs to be done and, and what you can do to help each other. Um, this still works well even if, there's, even if it's not a partnership. Uh, but it also gives you the option of using paper. So, uh, but if there's two of you, like I said, with us, you, you need that centrally located because you don't want the same, or the same task being tackled from two sides uh, differently and wasting time, basically. The other thing is right now, um, we're a team, but um, I'm doing the getting the outfits ready. I'm deciding what our live shows are going to be. Joel is, he's my IT guy. He's everything from, you know, helping me get the Dymo uh, shipping labels going to he made sure that um, today we went and opened up our business checking account. He got a hold of the IRS and got all the um, business uh, part uh, completed there. So there are a lot of things that you can do before your kit shows up. Um, I was just really surprised um, that my kit came so early. Um, it came within three weeks of signing my contract. I was more prepared for July that it arriving. Um, but we know just like in life, we have different events that happen. I had family coming to town and, you know, I was working and I was, you know, I kind of was, you know, trying to make excuses why um, this is kind of an inconvenience. But once it showed up, I was super excited. Um, Joel was helping me post, getting everyone else excited too. Uh, I was the man behind the curtain. I, we were trying not to let people know it was me, but she, I took a picture of the boxes. I put flowers on top of them, and I'm like, can't wait to unbox. And then she comments on it. Oh, I can't believe they're there. And which, as I was commenting as her business page, not as me. So I'm like, oh, is Wizard of Oz here? I'm the man behind the curtain. Don't don't tell them, but. But we've decided to involve me more in it. Like, for example, we did a live sale last night. I was, I was in it. I was part of it. Now, or my knowledge of the outfits, eh, we're working on it. Let's just put it that way. So, But it's nice because even when Buffy talks about how the company got started, um, thanks to her grandmother, she started reading this book. And Agnes and Dora. Uh, Dora's the more playful uh, personality and Agnes is a little more um, I guess serious maybe the logistics and so I there's there isn't one thing um, that I would not stand by the word of the company um, I love the fabrics I love the teamwork that's happening if you're looking for something that you don't have an in inventory you can definitely go out and in search of on the different uh, groups yes the groups can kind of be overwhelming when you first start um, but then just make sure you're reaching out to your sponsor. I am very fortunate to have an awesome sponsor and it is my sister-in-law. Uh, Jenna Morrison, cannot thank you enough. All the text messages, all the late night calls, coming here in person and just making sure that Joel and I are very successful. We appreciate, we love you. Um, continue to um, grow our relationship um, as business partners and of course, uh, we're family. So we're there um, through the thick and thin. So yes, I did have that advantage. I do talk to my sister uh, rather regularly as she was going through this process, her process. So I was able to understand a lot more of the back end stuff, which is where I feel more comfortable with logistics, those type of things. I, being in a logistics role uh, currently, uh, there, there are some things that I would like to see in the future. And I know the company is growing and I think, uh, one of the things that my sister has pointed out is the requests that reps have made, they, the IT team has been implementing those. So I think that's important to go, it would be really nice if we had this. Don't just hold that in. 
submit that feedback up to headquarters because then the more people that feed, send that feedback and with the same idea, that will put it higher on the list. So, so again, don't just hold that in. Um, but again, as Tracy mentioned, it's it's gonna be like it's like a new job. It, it's actually uh, a new a new business. Uh, don't treat it just as. I don't know if you can hear that, depending on how good our microphone is, but it is July 3rd, so there are some uh, fireworks going off in the background, not gunshots. Uh, but, but yeah, just, just know it'll take a little bit to get going, and that's okay. Uh, now, I know some people have switched over and they have an audience already. We didn't really have an audience, and so we're building it up. Uh, we're using some Facebook ads and some other things, so don't be afraid. I mean, if you're going to spend the money on the... The kit, uh, I know I spent some money on the lighting because you want it to look nice. I don't have the full lighting gear on this, so if it doesn't look um, as lit as some of our other stuff, that's because I only have one light going. But it's, in my opinion, it's important not just to uh, buy the clothes, but it's also remembering all the surrounding items, the racks, the, the uh, hangers, the marker. I mean, there's just a lot of things. and. And I'm happy to provide those links to anybody if they want them where we got them from, um, as it helps us too, because if you ask more questions, it may be something we haven't thought of that we need to address. And, and that will give us a heads up opportunity to look at it before we even uh, have that concern. So uh, beyond that, I always like to offer one piece of advice uh, on the technical side of Facebook Live. People are uh, making these numbers that are backwards and all this. That throws me off. You can you can actually flip the video if you go into the tools section of your your live before you go live. If you have a front facing camera, there's a tools section in there and it says flip the video. So you do that, and then you if you want to test it, just put a piece of paper up to it. If you can read it, you're good to go. So. Uh, don't try to figure out how to how do I use how do I use word to flip yeah all this yeah if you're using a front-facing camera with Facebook live there's there's a setting in there uh, you, you can't make it stick but if you remember to do it every time you don't have to bother with all that other stuff so I know some of you have done a great job of turning the that and everything but I just want to make everybody's life a little bit easier because and take credit for something Facebook did so and we're taping tonight so when I <laughs> held the original sign that says treat yourself yes we are very aware that this is backwards uh, yeah it's it's it would be correct I'll just put a light behind that so <laughs> so yeah uh, the iPhone on the other hand when you video with the front front, ugh, front facing camera doesn't allow for that inversion so you know what do you want to do so so uh, just bear that in mind for Facebook Live. Also, if uh, any of you guys have any questions, like Tracy mentioned, go to your go to your upline, your sponsor. Uh, if you're having troubles there, post to the group here. I know I've I haven't posted a lot, but I've gone through the news feed, and and uh, Tracy has as well. And I know she's posted and has gotten a lot of information. So it's it's a group effort. Yes, I know we're all selling. Uh, similar products and with the World Wide Web we can all reach the same audience but it's it's important to remember that we are selling exclusive clothes you know short run clothes so it's not like every person is going to have the floral I, I can't even think of a pattern dolman. a floral dolman and a full line of sizes you know you may have the medium somebody needs the extra large that's okay you know, and, and we're, we're not just ordering from a catalog like Eddie Bauer. You know, I, I happen to have a little bit in my closet because that's, I guess I like plaid. But it's important to work together. We're a team. The more we get the Agnes and Dora name out there, the better it's going to be for everyone. So that's just, just don't, don't view your fellow reps as competitors. View them as marketers that can continue to evolve and, and push the product to a, uh, and to a greater reach. And I think that's something that I've learned from Buffy and Christian is their goal is not to just, you know, have thousands and upon thousands of reps. 
They want to do it in a right way in the right geographical areas to make sure not only can we get the right reach, but we want the rep, they want the reps to be successful because in the end, if they're not successful, the company's not successful. So, so just, just my philosophy on, I, I, I call it coopetition. It's, you know, it's, it's, you want to sell, you want to, to get it all out there, but, but if you focus on your customer and focus on their style and put them first, it all take care of itself. That's just, sales advice from 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 previous sales jobs so and and it's been very helpful to Tracy and the in the gals that she has started working with and and helping them be their her personal stylist so and then you yourself like mm. you're you're your walking business card you're the um eye of marketing for Agnes and Dora so I did I started back in December before I even thought about um, being a rep for the company. <laughs> She's just making an excuse for buying all the clothes. I was don't, helping. Don't let her fool I you. was helping my sister-in-law be a successful Agnes and Nora rep. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty so. sure when Jenna got started in uh, March, I think I was one of her top customers. But we did not mind helping her out. Mm -hmm. um, and it also it helped me out because women all the time they ask me, "What are you wearing? Like that is so cute. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that." Mm -hmm. And then I would say, you know, I'm going to be selling for um, Agnes and Dora. Uh, right now, I said, my sister-in-law is carrying um, these products that I've been wearing. And so, like I said, um, the biggest thing that you have to um, remember is if you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to be able to um, be confident. Uh, this is a different adventure for a lot of us. Uh, like I said, my background, I'm a registered nurse. I never in a million years, and I was talking to my mother today, and she still laughs uh, because I was a tomboy growing up. I did not want anything to do with floral. <laughs> I hated tights. They were itchy. Um, I went to Catholic school, so I had uh, school clothes, clothes for church, and then I had, you know, get my rough and tumble clothes on. So for my parents both to see their daughter at the age of 37 uh, selling clothes and you know seeing how supportive uh, my husband their son-in-law is it is it's a good feeling on both sides of our family um, my mom has already been wearing the Agnes and Dora um, baby suede leggings and uh, my mother-in-law has been wearing totally fell in love with the daydreamers so um, they're both supporting on both sides of the family the father and father-in-law aren't buying anything, though. I mean, what's up with that? I think they're contributing to the fun uh, for the yes, mother-in-laws. I'm familiar. Wear the Agnes and Dora. Very familiar with that. So, uh, yeah. But beyond that, I, I think that's that's probably everything we wanted to hit on this. We could go on for a while, but we just wanted to sit mm. down and, like I say, uh, be totally real with you. Um, we have definitely had our moments of. Uh, butting heads and um i totally uh guilty of not saying please and thank you enough and um making joel feel like he's doing everything wrong and um we just had to communicate we just had to call each other on it and say hey i'm feeling disrespected uh you need to shut it down the clothes are still gonna be there you know stop steaming stop folding whatever i was doing um and then one thing i just wanted to end with Agnes and Dora, their dresses are named after significant women in history. And tonight's quote I pulled from Janis Joplin. Uh, I love her music. I love how raw she is, the confidence she had, and she really didn't care what people thought. So this was the quote that I wrote down tonight. We won't make you read it. She's going to read it to you because of the flipped lens. It says, don't compromise yourself. You are all you've got. And so for me... Um, I always feel like uh, Team Morrison right here, this is what we got. And so we hope that we helped you guys with some keys to success tonight. And we also wish you guys a happy 4th of July. Joel is laughing because I probably sounded cliche. No, the keys. Totally had no idea she was going to do that. So uh, to, to, piggy, to piggyback her Janice Joplin comment, just be yourself. Everybody else is already taken. And don't try it. You watch all these lives. 
just be you take some of the things they do but just just be you and your customers will will realize that and we've we've noticed that as as we've let more of our personality out the comments have gotten better and the likes have gotten more the views have gotten longer so uh that's just just be you and i am gonna say happy independence day uh, especially to any of you veterans you current active service those with family members in that uh, we're thankful for their service and um, we just want to celebrate independence day and remember all of those as well so yes we love you all from our home welcome to the agnes and dora family we welcome you with open arms and that's all i got and love you're you guys. gonna see my finger